This is the presentation for our Part 1b group project for the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Flowblox is a flowchart-based visual programming language for microcontrollers, and is designed to introduce beginners to the basics of programming in an intuitive way. We might as well jump right into a demonstration. Here you can see the interface, which consists of a library of blocks on the left and a workspace on the right. We can then build a simple program which turns on an LED if either one of the two buttons is pressed right-clicking on the blocks to set attributes, like the LED's pin number. We can then click Generate Circuit to get instructions on how to build the circuit, and then Run to automatically upload the program to the microcontroller, and now we have a working project. It's extremely simple and intuitive, allowing users to effortlessly build, upload, and run programs. We can make this program slightly more complex by building an XOR gate instead. We can now run this program and see that it is working perfectly on the microcontroller. Flowblox also provides a way for beginners to have their first taste of a more traditional style of coding by allowing you to create your own blocks. If we instead want to write this XOR program as code, we can create a new node, define its inputs and outputs, and write some simple code which assigns output to the value of left XOR right. This provides a low resistance way for users to transition from visual programming to more traditional ways of programming. It also allows them to explore the actual implementations of the blocks they are using, such as this simple counter block. You can see how easy it is to understand this code. It has an increase and reset input, and if the reset is true, then the output becomes zero, and if increase is true, then the output is incremented by one. We can save this program and load up some example programs for us to check out. Here we have a program which simulates rolling a six-sided dice. But what if we want a dice with more than six sides? Well, we can load up a program which uses an LCD display, so we can generate and display a random number between 1 and 1 million. The code needed to interface with the LCD display is all abstracted away from the user, making it extremely easy and intuitive to use. We could also wire up an ultrasonic distance sensor to create a reversing beeper program, which displays the distance of an object in centimeters, beeping if we get too close. Interactive and physical projects like these really capture the imagination of children, and Flowblox makes it extremely easy to turn these kind of projects into a reality in mere minutes. Our last little demo shows that we can wire up an RGB LED and create a rainbow program. This is just a small sample of Flowblox capabilities. There are many more blocks and physical components we've implemented that the user can use in their projects. While the user only sees a nice clean interface, this was actually quite a technically challenging project with a lot going on behind the scenes. We spent a lot of time designing the language to be simple and powerful, yet also extensible, managing the trade-offs that each one of those properties brings. Flowblox runs entirely on the web, with the frontend being written in React and the compiler written in C++ running on WebAssembly. The compiler converts the flowchart into a graph so that it can do loop detection and type checking before compiling the graph into Python code which you can see here. The Python code is written in a way which emulates event-driven behavior using graph traversal and marking techniques to properly evaluate and execute all of the block's code. This Python code is then uploaded to the microcontroller using the Web Serial API. Overall, this project was a success and we met all of our key specification criteria. We're extremely happy with how it turned out and are planning to make it open source and available for people to use.